Black X O oh shit oh zero seven. I'm whispering because Shakira's sleeping. Making this more difficult than it has to be. Part three, the wolf of Lewis. Just cooperate and answer the questions. You can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. So good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> please. Please. fables we have to go now what did you do to her she'll be fine it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up I know y'all ain't hear me. You probably ain't hear me in the beginning, but Black Ocean 7, fucking Wolf Among Us, part three. Let's get it. <clears throat> That's just wild how they kill off snow, right? <laughs> this doesn't change anything. Fine. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. He was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man, and people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. 
Shut your big ass nose. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. All right. It's been a shitty couple of days. I know you're trying. Thank you. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. She wanted to see my I don't pain. know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. You look like you stay done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. <laughs> and fuck your car. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. <laughs> Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. Have to find some place to cool off. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Hmm. Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for you. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was... Important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. 
Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on it? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. This imbecile will have him going in circles. He's getting somewhere. I'm saving that. This is really... What's the point of this? Here. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Look, baby. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. Yo, back up, Mr. Clean. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith... I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You were looking for Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. <sighs> These Come on, cats. Baby. These we both know this isn't go. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Alright, whiskey. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. It couldn't hurt, I guess. Cause them up Why don't you just tell me them. who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! Uh, what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely.
Cologne. Oh boy. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. That doesn't explain how the person <laughs> looked exactly Snow. like you. What is it? Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. How do we notice the real Snow White? We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean... That's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now! That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Ouch. I felt I'm that. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. <sighs> I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. E even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. But doesn't Glamour wear off after a while, so shouldn't they be able to tell who the real person is? TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Alright. Let's go talk to TJ. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Bigby? You're on thin ice, Toad. Don't test me. No need to get all worked up. It ain't a big deal. 
TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Punches frog in the face. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? That's some mafia shit. Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! It's dangerous out there! If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Pigby. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Hmm. There really wasn't much info. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. Let's go see what Toad was saying. When you're ready. Can I use the lamp now? Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know 
Who that is ringing my doorbell? One thirty in the morning. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. <laughs> Is that the mayor's car? Put down with the mirror. Hmm. Let's see. Do I, do I really need to go to the turbo cards again? Well, that's appropriate. What does it mean, though? Pity these can't solve murders. Okay. And assets. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Do we need to look at the book of fables again? Beauty and Beast. Always putting on a show for each other. Okay. There's nothing no. Snow's perfume. So, check out anyone who fits that oh, profile. Check the freezer, Might right. start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. <sighs> Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Shut up, you freak. Anything? Nothing. Check her mouth when I damn well freak like it. Can you close her mouth? <laughs> now you want me to close it. Thanks. It looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. 
I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Oh. Okay, I guess we're done with that. This feet was tied. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She oh. used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Mm. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh... Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. <laughs> you still okay? I sorry that. Uh... Took longer than expected. What have you found out? Well, her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. I want to see the panties. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. You liar. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. 
Hmm, puzzle time. Something's wrong. What is up over there? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Your dick smell like cottage cheese. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... I'm back. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. Not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? 
Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. About you. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now. 
but I just... I didn't want to watch her with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie? Hmm, what do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to No. Nah. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. <laughs> it just made everything easier. Sister, sister. I know I've been pretty quiet this episode. Kyra's sleeping, I don't want to violate. He's literally passed out on the couch. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I'm gonna fuck up I with that. should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. This Bill's Cosby kind of club. Put it. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater like to the <laughs> diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. I must be some spell. Down, them. For fuck's sake. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Alright, so what that said, I'm gonna end the video right here. 
Don't forget to like the video, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. You like X Ocean 7 signing off. Forget about your shoulders and those fucking narrow hips.